soul. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy on my soul. Oh, Lord, have mercy. On my soul. Yeah. After the Civil War, parcels of southern land were subdivided and sold to former slaves. Historic Oakland Village was composed of such parcels and became one of Raleigh's first free men communities. A former slave by the name of James E. Harris established Oberlin Village in 1866 and named it after his alma mater, Oberlin College in Ohio. The institution's leaders were abolitionists and open enrollment to African Americans. The 149 acres primarily consisted of farmland, where its residents eventually built churches and schools and open businesses. The land had once belonged to a wealthy plantation owner by the name of Duncan Cameron. Oberlin Cemetery, located on Oberlin Road in between office buildings and condominiums. This 165-year-old cemetery is the burial ground for generations of Oberlin Village's earliest residents. Some had even been slaves. A.J. Hayward, a member of the North Carolina All-Black Regiment during the Spanish-American War, is also buried here, but his marker no longer stands. The older part of the cemetery dates back to 1836. Take a ride. Yeah. 